You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Alfina, this can't be real. I didn't do this. Did I? By the gods, I couldn't have... A single moment comes to you. The flash of abject terror in her eyes. Blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. Examine the area. This, this couldn't, couldn't have been, have been me, damn it. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you? That you could be guilty of such bitter business. How, How could I, I commit, commit such an atrocity, atrocity upon her? her? This, this monstrous, monstrous act, it is unforgivable. unforgivable. What, what manner of sick, twisted, twisted curse, curse inflicts my own heart to do such a horrid thing? thing? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. What I have done is unforgivable. I must answer for this. I will not damn my soul even further by hiding from my crime. Indeed, as bright and clear as the dawning day. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. You woke us up. Did you see what happened here? Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood, so... She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? I think... I mean, I know that I killed Alfina. I have no sufficient words to express my shame. The blood speaks for itself. Why? I wish I knew. Outside of vague, fleeting mental images, I have no recollection of the attack or why I did it. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. I... I don't know. It could have been the tadpole, but I fear it might also be something even worse within me. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. Never, never again. again. I will I never, never again, again allow myself to lose control. control. I am I'm a paladin. paladin. I am I'm sworn, sworn to defend, defend the innocent. innocent. Every one of your instincts screams against the saccharine thought. You feel close to fainting again. A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, paladin. Something has been lost. You have broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. 
We have much to discuss. Never wanted the easy path. I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. I don't blame you, but I wasn't in control of myself. So, you're not in full control of your faculties? If you think it might happen again, warn me. I would hate to have to kill you. I'll try if I'm able. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Alfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. I wasn't in control of myself when it happened. Something strange is happening to me. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. I was no friend to Alfira, but there was no sense in killing her. I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Especially you. I understand. But I swear that I wasn't in control of myself. I'll tell you what I think anyway. I won't miss Alfira. But I won't stand for chaos. Govern your hunger before it governs you. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. A gentle young soul slain in her prime. Mm. Go on then. State your business with me from a safe distance. It's all the same to you. I swear that Alfira's death was not by my own choice. I'm sure that will be of small comfort to her. Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Please, I beg of you, resurrect Alfira. I never intended harm to her. The Bard's death is a weight for thine own conscience to bear. She will be left to the peace of eternity, where the urge shall seek her no more. I... I understand. I must atone for my terrible crime, not try to escape from it. I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. Who are you? I was the first. The first to swear. The first to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow. I see their jubilation. I guide their hand. Oathbreaker. You swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order. To protect those who value life. And vanquish those who would destroy it. Tell me. Why did you abandon your oath? I am a poor excuse for a paladin, a fraud, a mockery of the light and all that is good and honorable. My mind is shattered and cruelty has taken hold within. Cruelty need not conflict with purpose, and a shattered mind may yet uphold an oath, but you have fallen. 
and it seems you do not fully comprehend the reason why. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. What oath did you swear before you fell? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. And his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So, I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. Do you regret betraying your oath? Your lord sounded like a monster. Regret is for those who would act differently. I feel no such desire. What's past is past. We are here to discuss your future. What did you do after you abandoned your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness, yet held a candle for those who needed the light. My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually, I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way as I show you now. I want to know about these powers you gained as an Oathbreaker. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. No, it can't be the only path. I would rather die than be a servant of death. There must be some way for me to reclaim my oath. It is possible, but such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. I do not want this path. I would rather die. I want to remain pure and reclaim my oath. You may refuse, but this alone will not restore what was lost. Without light to guide you, or darkness to consume, you will remain adrift, powerless. I will not allow myself to be further tainted by darkness. I will find a way to reclaim my oath. Mm. Until that day, I will be here, and my offer will remain. You are between worlds, Paladin. Have you made a choice? What happens if I reclaim my oath of the Ancients? Returning to your oath means relinquishing the darkness within you. Its evil must be banished. Your oath-sworn powers will return. You will be bound again by the decrees 
You promised to uphold. Then I wish to take up my oath once again. It is possible. First, you must pay the agreed price. Material sacrifice is required to prove your words have substance. Do you wish to pay? Of course. I care nothing for wealth. The price is paid. Tell me, why do you wish to reclaim your oath? Abandoning my oath tainted my soul. I wish to make it right again. I must make it right again. Repairing what was damaged. Atoning for the past. Kneel, Oathbreaker. You swear to defend life itself. To protect all that is good and natural. And to repel wickedness wherever it threatens. I swear to defend life itself. To protect all that is good and natural. And to repel wickedness wherever it threatens. This I swear to my last and dying breath. The oath of the ancients is once more yours to fulfill. Hope you're keeping well, my friend. Scratch, it's so good to see you again. I'm very sorry about your friend. Master, friend, I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. I'm very glad to have met you too, Scratch. You're welcome to stay and travel with us for as long as you'd like. Who's a good boy? There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. By all means, Shadowheart, please speak your mind. I could have died in that pod, back on the North Lord. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I don't quite understand. Why do you have to be so secretive about your ambition? Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Do you think she might relent and make you a dark justiciaire? 
I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. For this, I hope my time will yet come. Thank you for sharing that, Shadowheart. as ever. Let me shy. Still breathing, despite everything. Best be on my way. Good gods, <sighs> man. What in the world are you doing? Who the hell's... Get over here and help! <sighs> if we don't deal with them gnolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. There's another way out. You don't need to risk your life facing them head on. Follow me. Across the chasm? You might have got in that way, but you're stuck with us now. Just stay back. We'll deal with the gnolls. Thanks. Me and the boy will do what we can to help. We've still got some fight in us. That might be worth a look.
He deserved better. And so does his coin. Thank the gods that's over. Wish you'd been with us when the beasts attacked on the road. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there. I'm, I'm sorry, there were no survivors. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard is a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's your next stop? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little Serpent, Long Shadow. He'll take good care of you. Shame we lost so many agents. But the chest is all that matters. Zaris would have our hides if we lost it. Mind if I ask what you're transporting such a great distance? Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Taranths. Taranths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. You're a Zent. I'd wager more than just your crew have died over these supposed baubles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lass like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. I don't, I don't trust, trust him. him. Zents, Zents are conniving, conniving and often involved in unethical and criminal dealings. But I'll, I'll not, not risk, risk needlessly, needlessly spilling more blood, blood this day. Just be on your way, sir. I've had a long day. 